Hello friends, this is Sudhir, your friend from Coinsutra.com. Today we are going to see about a very secure Bitcoin wallet app for mobiles. And this particular tutorial I am recording for Android phones because I own an Android phone. And the name of this application is Mycelium Bitcoin Wallet. The application is available on all the OSs of mobile, which is like Android and uh, iOS and Windows also it is available. So just to begin with, uh, I have installed the app already from the App Store to show it to you. I will just go to the App Store, click open. So as soon as I click open, you will see this window is popping up. And it is asking me to restore a backup or i want to create a new wallet so now we will see for this time to create a new wallet and later i will tell you how to restore backup through your seat key so i will click create new wallet so as you can see it is preparing my wallet and this is what the first look of application looks like so this is the balance page and at the top as you can see there are three four options like accounts balance transaction address book so i'm going to take you through these all three four tabs one by one but before that i really want to convey a very strong uh, point to you that why this mycelium bitcoin wallet app is one of the most secure uh, wallet apps for mobiles available in the market uh, because as you must be knowing that you are using bitcoins for some time so in bitcoin phenomenon only and only if you are holding the keys of the bitcoin that is the private keys of the bitcoin then and then only you own your bitcoins if you don't have your keys you really don't own your bitcoins actually speaking so to solve this problem what mycelium developers thought that what if i store the private keys on the device itself because as you must be knowing that most of the third party services or the other wallets which are available out there in the market are actually third party services which are actually holding your bitcoin keys on behalf of you but what bitcoin mycelium wallet uh, developers thought that what if i can store or the user can store the keys right on their device whatever device they must be using that it is ios or windows or android so they thought that let us come up with this feature so for that for installing or implementing that feature they came up with a key called seed key which is in this wallet is called master seed key and what this seed key enables you to do is to take the backup of your bitcoins or your bitcoin mycelium wallet so in case you lose your uh, mobile or handset because of some reason due to damage or lost somewhere or theft so you always can recover your wallet through that seed key so this seed key becomes very very critical so i will show you that how to implement that seed key feature in this and i strongly recommend you that this is the first step you should do when you are like uh, installing the mycelium app so uh, just at the top you can see that the three dots so i will click on it so it is showing me some options like backup so i'll click on backup so it is asking me i will read a backup of your master seed allows you to restore your funds stored on your HD accounts. If your device is lost or damaged, do you want to do this now? Yes, of course I want to do this now. I click on yes. So as you can see, so it is giving me some instructions that what is master seed backup and, and just to tell you that what this master seed key is actually it is nothing but a string of random words it can be 12 24 36 whatever you have chosen so you have to note it down on a piece of paper because if you don't note it down or you lose it somewhere you won't be able to recover your bitcoins so please note it down and keep it very safe with you somewhere so i will start the process i will click on show first word first word is cool i am noting down on a piece of paper you won't be able to see this in the video because they have made in such a way that you cannot take snapshot or videos of this process of setting up the backup key so i will just quickly note it down scout is the sixth word useful cook simple is the next word I would use sell. So now I have noted out all the words. Now it is again asking for a verification. So I will type cool was my first word, height was my second word, post was my third word, alien only, useful, cook is the next word, simple, I use. So now you can see 
that your word list backup has successfully been verified now it is prompting me to set a pin code and why this extra feature of pin codes it is asking me to set is because if suppose somebody is holding my handset and uh, if i don't set this pin code they will be able to change my master seat key so in order to prevent that so we have to take this pin code set this pin code also and uh, once you have this pin code is set nobody can change your seat key and uh, this is very very critical and it is as critical as having your master seat backup key so i will just click on set pin code so i will set it as one zero nine eight one zero i'm showing it in you this video but uh, don't show it to somebody So you can see the pin code is set. So this is how it will be taking me to the balance page again. So this was the very first step that you take the backup, you note it down somewhere your seat key so that you can recover your bitcoins or the bitcoin wallet whenever something goes wrong with your handset. And the other step was to set your pin code so that nobody can change your seat key. So now let us go to the first option at the top you can see the accounts. So this is like I will read account 1. So this is account 1 and it is showing me my balance and it is saying that it has one private key. So and at the top you can see a key like sign so with a plus so I will click on it. So this is for adding more HD accounts if you want to add. So the most beautiful functionality of this is you can add as many HD accounts as you want and you would be able to recover all the HD accounts with the same backup key which you just uh, noted down. The same seat key will help you in recovering all the accounts. So I will click on add HD account. So it is asking me for my pin i will type 10980 so it is saying you can have only one uh, unused hd account so as the balance currently is zero btc so i cannot add one more account so it is saying that it should have some unused account first then only i can add one more and uh, one more feature which it has is if you click on this account one so it is saying you are now working on HD account one. So th this is also very, very important. So if I click on the right top corner, three dots. So I'm telling you how to take the backup of your private keys. You can even import it somewhere or you can note it down also somewhere or copy it on your clipboard. So I'll click on these three dots. You can see the bottom second option, the export. I'll click on export. It is again asking me for my pin. This is a very like secured wallet which is asking you for pin each and every time. So it is saying that you are about to export a sensitive data. So I will continue yes. I am showing it in this video. Please don't show it to anybody else. So as you can see this is uh, something public and whoever has this QR code or this string of alphanumeric numbers can actually see your balance and whatever transactions you have done but uh, that person cannot spend your bitcoins at the top you can see that it is showing public once I click that option it will turn into private so I'll click private so as you can see now it is showing and they're saying that uh, the person who has the access to this QR code or alphanumeric string will be able to spend my bitcoins too. So I will show you how you can see the QR code and the alphanumeric private key. So it is saying long press to show the QR code. I will long press it. So as you can see. So this is the private key actually linked to HD account 1. So you can even clip, uh, share it with somebody or uh, copy to clipboard and this is something very very private so it has not to be shared with uh, anyone everyone so it is something i'm showing for it for your own knowledge sake that how you can import and export i'll go back again okay so we are done with this option so i'll go to the second option balance so this option is showing me the account one has this bitcoin address and this is the qr code and this is my balance in BTC, balance in USD and what is the equivalent amount of 1 BTC in US dollars. So we'll see quickly through these each options. I will click on receive, how to receive your bitcoins as you clicked on receive. So this is my Bitcoin address 
and that is the alphanumeric bitcoin address and this is an optional amount if you want to send that uh, i want xyz amount of bitcoins to the person whom you are asking to send so you can add here like two bitcoins i want so this will be displayed here and this is an optional uh, feature so uh, you want to share your payment request or want to copy to the clipboard so I will click on share so you will be able to share it on whatsapp on messages on any app you want in even if you want to save it to your drive you can do that also you, you can gmail it also so that is how it works so I'll go back copy it to clipboard it is copied you can paste it somewhere so we'll go back so this is how you can receive your bitcoins and then i will move to how to send your bitcoins so this is very very important because you're sending your bitcoins so you have to be very very careful that what it is so one feature is that you can uh, always scan the qr code of the bitcoin address you want to send so as i click on qr code so it will be prompting me to take a like scan the qr code so the second is my addresses if i want to send bitcoins to one of my own addresses from the address book right now the address book is empty so we'll add some more address then i can show you again so you can select even your own addresses and this is again your own address only but it is also giving you an option of selecting what kind of fees you want to pay so i will again come back to the fees this wallet is having two three kind of fees and it actually denotes how fast you want your uh, transaction to be get uh, very the, from the bitcoin blockchain actually so i will again go to the option of manual entry so this is if you want to enter manually what is the bitcoin address of the person whom you want to send the btcs and below you can see the amount option this is also very important because here you are specifying what amount of bitcoins you want to send let's suppose i click on two it is saying me insufficient balance because i have zero btc balance actually and below that it is showing me minor fees i will quickly tell you this what it is uh, so as you can see normal so normal fees means it will be taking like 196 satoshis per byte of fees and uh, it will be approximately taking 30 minutes for the verification of this transaction the next option is priority if i want it to be done fast within 10 minutes so it will be like uh, charged 240 satoshis per byte and the next option is low priority and it is saying that it might take some time longer so it will take around three hours and because fees is around 129 satoshis per byte this is low priority and this is economic this is also it will take some time approximately two hours because the fees is 143 satoshis per byte and please remember this uh, this fees is not taken by mycelium developers or the mycelium people this fees is attached to your transaction so that the miner can see that what fees is attached to it whether it is profitable for me to mine it or not of course it goes without saying that the miner would be taking only a transaction which is having a higher fees attached to it so th that's how it works so these are suggestions from mycelium people so i'll move quickly to the next option which is transactions so this is like a transaction history whatever btcs you have sent and received at what time in what quantity to whom to whom means what bitcoin address you have sent this is even you can refresh from the top this refresh button is available and uh, the next option is address book so you can add as many addresses to this address book and basically you can add those addresses with whom you transact often so i will click on this plus sign to add more addresses okay so it is saying me if i have the bitcoin address i can scan it if i don't have then i can click on clipboard so i'll click on clipboard it is asking me what is the address so firstly it will save my own address of this app only so i will write my address you can see this is my own address of this mycelium account only you can verify also it is uph at the end the three letters and you can see the same on the balance account account one address uph at the end so this is like adding um, my own address even you can add more so for showing it i've taken one bitcoin address i will show you how to add it copy i'll go to the app again i'll click clipboard i will type my another address so this is an another address of bitcoin 
which I have made from another app so you can also make address click ok so as you can see that the new address is added so this is the way you can add as many addresses you want so now I will quickly move to the right top th the three dots click here and show you more options so it is showing me more options like backup we have seen how to take a backup of the seed key uh, we'll go to the cold storage option so this cold storage spending option is important and very um, I, what i can say is helpful so if you are having any hardware wallets like treasure or keep key or you have some paper wallets through which you want to spend your bitcoins you can always uh, like click on qr code and scan the private key and spend it get the private key from qr code or clipboard or master c and even you can sign in with treasure and spend your bitcoin so it is like prompting me to please connect your device the same is with the keep key also you can connect your keep key and spend bitcoins from those uh, hardware wallets so the next option is about so this is about what my senior community is all about who is the developer what version of app i am using so it is saying me that i am using the most updated version and what is the home page of the mycelium account and uh, any feedbacks which i want to give anything which i want to download what kind of licenses mycelium is using etc etc so this you can see in their about us page and at the settings you can see this is also very interesting so this app is available in many languages like you can see spanish french Italian, you know, Japanese, Chinese, Dutch. So you can change your language also from here. So for this video, I have kept it as English, and uh, even you can decide your minus fees. What kind of minus fee you want to keep always on the transactions, like low priority, economic, normal, priority, etc. And you can even change your pin code. So I will not do it right now because I have just done it. And these are many other kind of authentication that I want to have VIP 44 encryption or not and at the end you can see there are many more external services or what I can say third party services which you can use in tandem or in parallel with mycelium wallet so these are the like high level features of the mycelium bitcoin wallet so i hope that uh, you all like this video and please let me know what are your comments and that's all from my side. In the next video, we will see how to restore your wallet from the seed key which we just have noted down. And till that time, keep learning and sharing the Bitcoin revolution with Coinsutra. Thank you. See you soon.